Okay, we're ready to start turn number nine of the Legend of Drizzt board game, adventure number two. And I think we might be able to win on this turn unless we just get really unlucky with our rolls. And, all right, let's go ahead and start. So it's Drizzt's turn. He's got a movement of nine. So let's go ahead and have uh, Drizzt move all the way. He's got obviously plenty of move, movement, so I don't have to count it out. So he's going to move adjacent to Artemis, and he's going to go after Artemis with <clears throat> with his uh, Icing Death, because that's about the only thing he's got at the moment. So Icing Death on Artemis, and that's an 8, and 8 plus 6 is 14, which I think misses. Yeah, unfortunately that misses. So that's a miss. And then he's going to go again because he has Expert Combatant and four. So that's also a miss. So he moved over there and missed twice. So like I said, getting really unlucky with the rolls. And uh, all right, so that's it for Drizzt. So Drizzt did not use a Surge this time. He moved, he attacked. No treasure, because he didn't kill anything. Wouldn't matter anyway, because once Artemis is dead, the game's over. We're not exploring, because so we don't want to draw out new monsters. And so we have an encounter, and then Artemis activates. If the encounter is terrible, we'll cancel it. <clears throat> um, attack each hero, so we'll go ahead and play this out, because it doesn't do damage. It just immobilizes us, and that's fine. So spell web plus eight, and it's only going to affect Rizd. Thirteen. So of course we roll high because we're trying to hurt ourselves. So Drizzt is now immobilized. At least for this turn. So so Drizzt is immobilized. And now Artemis will activate. Artemis is adjacent to Drizzt, so he's going to attack Drizzt with the dagger with the plus eight. And let's really, really hope he misses. And obviously that's not a miss. He rolled a 19. So one thing we can do though, we can remove the stance token now, and Drizzt will take one less damage. So Drizzt goes and that, uh, still unclear if I'm at five or four, but we'll say we're at four. So Driss is gonna go from four to three instead of from four to two. But that does mean that Artemis gets a point back. So he's now one, two, three, four, five. So he's now at three hit points. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for Driss villain phase. So now Bruner is going to get to go. And hopefully Bruner can kill him. So Bruner's going to move adjacent to... Just put him here. Adjacent to Artemis. And he's going to lay into him with everything he's got. So this might be our key to victory right here. Because we haven't used all of our power strikes yet. So we're going to use our at... We're going to use our notched axe... Once during each year, if this misses, you can use it. So this is the one that's like a different, so we can't use it to attack Artemis twice, unfortunately. All right, so plus seven. Let's hope we hit him. And if we hit him, we're obviously gonna use our power strike. 17, that's gonna be a hit. So we do the one damage, but we also do uh, so it says, once each time your hero hits an adjacent monster, you can remove one power strike token. And if you do, you do an extra damage. So we do the one damage from hitting him, and the power strike does another damage, but we remove a token. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he only has one hit point left. All right. So Bruner has not used that. He moved, he attacked. No treasure, no exploring, no new tile, no new monster, forced encounter, and then Artemis activates. 
All right, see what kind of encounter we get. Again, if it's bad, we do have experience to cancel it. Each hero takes damage equal to the number of monsters adjacent. Um, st still ambiguous. Let me go ahead and cancel it. I might regret canceling this, but that's going to be all of our experience gone. But we're both at three hit points. Well, we're either at three or four. I don't really know. It just depends on the ruling of that one. But anyway, all of our experience is gone. So, yes, we had an encounter, but we canceled it. Now Artemis activates, and he attacks which hero? If Artemis is adjacent to exactly one hero, oh, exactly one hero, then he attacks with Vampire Dagger. If Artemis is within one tile of a hero, he moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks that hero with the Heavy Saber. Okay, so it's actually to our advantage that we're both adjacent to Artemis because, like, we're flanking him or something, we're, we're surrounding him, so he doesn't get to use his dagger because he has to be adjacent to exactly one hero. Alright, so he's going to use the Saber, and the good thing about the Saber is that it just does one damage, but he doesn't gain anything back. So, he's going to, going to, uh, he's going to attack uh, who has the higher armor class. Drizzt has slightly higher armor class, so I'm going to choose to say Artemis is attacking Drizzt. And he rolled a nat 20, of course. So Drizzt goes down to 2. And that's going to be the end of turn number 9.